Okay, hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to make this video update video about modding uh, Nier Automata on Linux. Uh, this is uh, really easy compared to the past, uh, getting Special K, the FAR, as well as different other texture mods and whatnot. Uh, it's really easy nowadays. And so uh, to do this, I'm on Fedora 40, uh, but it should work on any other Linux distribution pretty much the same. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you have Proton Tricks installed as well as Proton UpQt. So, first things first is you're going to want to install Near Automata and uh, hit play. Uh, you don't have to start a game or anything like that, just get to like the menu and then you can exit out of it. Uh, we just want to get that first instance of the game loaded in all the different files made in our system. Once we do that, we're going to want to uh, download or install uh, a few tools. And so I'll have the links to these in the description. And the first things we're going to do are these uh, VC Redis x64 and VC Redis x86. Uh, so I'll have links to these. And once you have Proton Tricks installed, you're just going to double click. It'll open up Proton Tricks. You'll select the near automata, hit OK. Uh, when you do that, it'll open it up. The installer for the Visual C++. Pretty simple. I already have it installed. Uh, so I'm just going to hit close, but you'll just have install, hit install, it'll install it. And then you'll do the same thing with the x86, then your automata, OK, and then the install prompt will come up and you'll do that. So once we have that, what we're going to do is, I guess, how we're going to use mods and special K and all of that is through a tool called Steam Tinker Launch. This is the GitHub page. I'll have a link to it in the description. We're not going to actually need any, going to need anything from this GitHub page because we're going to be using Proton Qt up, uh, just because it makes it really easy. Uh, but you can see here it's just a versatile Linux wrapper tool uh, for the Steam client. So, like I said, we're going to be using Proton up Qt, and so get that installed if you haven't. Uh, I'd highly recommend it. It's a really good tool. Uh, just for using to keep up to date with different Proton versions and whatnot. Uh, I like to use the glorious egg roll Proton versions, so I get it from here. Um, so once you have it, what you're going to do is you want to add a version. Sorry, here we go. And you're going to want to go to the Steam Tinker launch. And the most up-to-date version as of making of this video is 12.12. .12. You're going to want to hit install. Now, I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to do that. But once we have it installed, you're going to want to go back to Steam. You're going to go to the properties. And then in launch options, you're going to want to copy and paste this in. Usually, or sometimes you can just do Steam Tinker Launch percent command percent. Uh, but for me, it didn't work when I did that, so I had to add the path as well. And so this should be the path. In general, I just got this off of the GitHub page. Um, so it should be the same for pretty much everyone. Uh, and so I'll have this, uh, I guess, uh, launch option in the description of the video as well. So you can just copy and paste it in. And once you have that, you can hit play again on the game. And what this is going to do is gonna, it's going to bring up the Steam Tinker launcher uh, GUI and stuff and so when it does that it has about two seconds where you can hit the main menu buttons to take you to the main menu of the Steam Tinker launcher before it actually launches the game so you want to be quick um, once you hit play and once it loads and everything it'll pop up you want to hit main menu real fast that'll be in the bottom right of the window right here main menu cool and it bring you right here So 
So once you're here at the main menu, we're going to want to go to game menu. And we're going to go down to use special K and we're going to hit that check mark. Then we're going to hit save. And we'll go back to the main menu. And then we can exit. Cool. So we've got the same Tinker Launcher installed. It's working. And we have Special K enabled. So right now, uh, it's not going to do anything. Special K won't just be working. We still have to download the Special K and install the file. So we'll go to the GitHub for Special K. The link will also be in the description. Uh, the latest version right now is this one here, 24.5.13. I just want to download the zip. Once you have the zip downloaded, you'll have it. You'll just want to extract it. Once you're in here, you'll have two files. And so we don't need the 32-bit. You can delete that because Nier Automata is a 64-bit game, uh, we're going to want to rename this file. And what we're going to want to rename it to is D3 D11, sorry, 11 dot DLL. Once you have that renamed, you're going to want to go to your Nier Automata game folder, uh, which is where the data and the game files are installed. If you don't know where that is, you can just go to Steam, Properties, Manage, and then Browse Local Files, and it'll open you up to the folder that we need. Now, when you do that, uh, I've already got probably more stuff in here than what you will have. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is copy this D3 DLL into the game folder. I already have it right here. Once you do that, you're going to want to start the game and when you start the game uh, special k should initialize and so you'll see that should work and should initialize and so once you hit play not going to do anything so it'll just automatically launch the game for me Maybe. What's going on? Cool. Okay. Uh, so I guess you might get an error like I did there of in it not launch, um, and kind of quit, and so just hit play again, launch it again, and it should work. And then you know Special K is working uh, because you'll see up here at the top. And then in order to pull up the menu, we're just going to go, I believe it's Control Shift Backspace. Yep. And once you're in there, you can see you got Special K plugin and FAR is automatically added into the um, Special K plugin for the most recent additions of Special K, and you can see it's working. I have, my frame rate is set to 144 max, or sitting around 120, um, and so you can change that to whatever you want. And you also have all of the different, uh, I guess, things that you can do in Special K, and that's great. So once you have this installed, then you can use uh, different mods. I'll exit out of here, exit the game. And so I'll have a link to these mods as well. And what you're going to want to do, so after that, after you launch the game, uh, you might have to try launching it a few times. But once it does, uh, and you exit, you should have 
uh, the same folders that you see here for me. Uh, so first, if we want to get the texture mod, I also have the DualShock 4 buttons because uh, I play with a PlayStation controller. I uh, also have the, so the 2B Shinobi outfit mod, the DualShock 4 buttons, and the Near Automata texture pack. So what you're going to want to do is once you have the, you've downloaded these mods, uh, for the texture mod you're going to see it's going to have a SKS folder, and I copied everything over already. Um, and so once you go, you'll want to take what's inside the SK underscore res folder, and you're going to want to copy it into the SK underscore res, inject textures, and you're going to want to paste it here. Uh, from my PS4 button mod, I'm all, is also here in the textures as well. Then for the outfit mods, it's going to be, this is for like the outfits or if you're going to do like the remastered body replacer mods or anything like that, it's going to be in the data. You're going to create a folder called PL and then you're going to copy the files from uh, the whatever outfit, the outfit mod uh, in my case or the uh, Android remastered bodies or whatever, uh, they're going to be in here. Uh, you're just going to take them, copy paste them into the PL folder right here. And that's it basically. You're done. Uh, so really easy compared to the past of where you had to downgrade to the 2017 version through the Steam console. All it was just it used to be a real mess, a real process of getting mods working. But right now it's really really quite easy with the Steam Tinker launcher tool. You just download that, enable special K in there, download special K, put it in your data folder, and then you can just download the mods and place them where they go. Uh, all the mods, they have instructions on how to install them on uh, Nexus, so it's pretty easy just to follow those. But yeah, once you have all that installed, you can just hit play and we'll take a look at the game. Let's go through here and start the game. Cool, and here we are. Oh, let me get rid of this. There we go. Okay. So yeah. So you got it's got the 2B Shinobi outfit is on here. Uh, it's got the PlayStation button mapping on here as well, and the textures are a lot higher quality. Uh, you can really tell looking at these uh, crates uh, before the mods was just like a blur of red rust and stuff, but now you can actually see the different lines of the crates and the different rusts splotches and stuff uh, so a lot, a lot higher detail uh, also as well we've got the unlocked frame rate uh, so it's a lot smoother uh, at like a setting around 100 120 fps rather than the locked 60. cool so there you go uh, thanks for watching the video hopefully this helps you uh, it's really cool to see how far we've come uh, in terms of uh, modding on Linux and how easy it's become, uh, especially for this game in particular.
Uh, thanks for watching.